Welcome back everybody to another exciting edition of Punch Out for the Nintendo Wii. And it's getting late. It's almost like 10.30. Well, it's not getting late. Technically speaking, for a gamer, that's never late. <laughs> but um, as through family terms, that is late. Welcome to the new episode. Uh, brand new day for you guys. Uh, still same day for me. Um, same for me, not for you. Um, training for me, not for you. And uh, shut up. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but welcome back. Hey, it's been an episode. I'm very tired, guys. I forgot to tell you when I did the whole uh, my personal file was. Just, I actually did it today, so I'm a, a little tired because you know pretending to be a boxer and trying to actually dodge and do stuff at the same time is very very tiring but long, long story short welcome to piston hondo uh originally i don't know i think if i remember correctly his name was piston honda and um and uh i was gonna say ds version we're like oh freaking idiot that's nes i have it on my uh ds on the go i don't have it for the Wii yet. I am planning to do a game on that, but I want the original copy. I don't want the freaking featuring Mr. Dream version. But look at this. Ow. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> come on, come at me, Scrub. Bam. Pa pow. See, look at that. Bam. Delicious damage for me. And. Not for you, Piston Hondo. But, um... How was yesterday's video, hey guys? Perfect run through, I say. And look at that. Perfect run through so far. Two minutes in, in actual real time. Um... You know, I'm actually wondering now, is, isn't it running in real time? Ow. Shut up. Okay, so... Before I started playing, I was actually getting a little practice because, I, I, like I said, I haven't played this game in a while. Um, when I played the game, for some reason, I, I was in the last one, I was in the title fight for the major circuit, and I was like, oh, look at that. Doc is going to say something to me because, you know, uh, beating the title bout is really hard in the first round. So I got to round three, sadly. But, I don't know, maybe I may beat it in two rounds this time, but... Doc, out of nowhere, for some reason, told me, Hey, Mac, remind me to buy milk when we go home. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh my god, it's so loud on the Wii remote, I forgot to lower that. I'll do that off camera. But, I mean, well, look, honestly... For Punch-Out's standards for the Wii, I gotta say, it's the best virtual fighter that I've seen so far. Um, in a sense that it actually makes you feel like you're actually boxing in-game. Cause... What? <laughs> um... Got there, it's off. Um... What was I saying? God damn it, Doxy, you freaking... Dragon ass, janky ass, stupid freaking quotes. Um, long story short, I don't know. I like saying long story short because I don't want to. I don't know. Maybe long stories aren't that interesting, so I'm like, you know what? I'll just tell them a short version of it. Uh, so tired. But uh, let's see. Same day for me. So let's see what I did today. Today... Ow. I... Oh! Actually, I had a... Not, not a real fight. Um, I had a magic fight with my manager. The trading card game. Um, with my manager at GameStop. Well, not my manager manager. But my... Um, in a sense, he is not a manager because he has keys for the store. But, um... I'm protected innocent. I'm gonna call him Pablo. Um... I had a uh, magic fight with him, Pablo, uh, today, and I'm not the greatest at magic, but I mean, 
I can have a decent playthrough against people. And I did enjoy it, but god damn it, I, his his decks are freaking Oh my god, it's, it's just unbelievable how freaking impossible it is to beat his decks. I don't know if I'm saying dicks or decks, I don't know. I can call him Dax or uh, freaking whatever. I saying words weird in the internet may come out to different to, inter to different interpretations by people, and they make them make a fool out of themselves by making me sound like a fool. So whatever. I had a card fight, and um, he beat me. We had four matches. I only won one out of the four, but hey, I won one. That counts, right? <laughs> I mean, granted, he's not good at fighting games, so I can beat him in that, so... I mean, I never fought him, but he says that he's bad at But I know he's amazing in RPGs, so I don't think I want to ever fight him in RPGs. But I'm pretty sure I could beat him in Smash Bros. Shut up. Um, I can beat him in Smash Bros, I'm guaranteed. Uh, I can also probably beat him in um, other fantastic games. Such as Street Fighter, but I mean everybody has the strengths and weaknesses. Literally, I want to say for me, I am the balance of all types of games because I'm not too good and I'm not too bad to play video games. But I'm not tournament status for anything. So for Magic, I'm okay. For Smash Bros, I'm okay. For Street Fighter, I'm okay. For strategies, see, I I want to say I'm literally at the moderate medium cap of everything <laughs> because I guess I give everything a fair chance so in a sense I think um, I, I think that me playing a different variety of games not focusing on something is one of the reasons why I am not the best at certain items I'm not starting to be the guy that's like oh I'm too good at everything I just want to play games with friends and family and people to have a good time. I remember there was one time um, I was at um, I was work back when I worked in McDonald's. I um, <laughs> I met a stranger and I was playing. That was when Smash Bros came out recently. He happened to have his DS. I happened my DS. And long story short, we had a Smash Bros fight. God damn it! In zero seconds, are you serious? Um, I had a Smash Bros fight with that guy, and he was the challenge, so I like the sense in which you can take your DS anywhere and play Smash Bros anywhere, because you can literally fight anyone, even a stranger, and you do not know how good or bad he is. I fought, I'm sorry, I fought random people at um, Comic Con this year, and I fought people at Anime Kanji, so I'm like, oh my god. I, sh I should really stop saying that I'm the best because um, it's not bad to say that you're the best but it is at the same time because you're giving yourself an image that you should never have so what I'm trying to say is um, don't say you're good at everything because if you say you're good at everything and at that moment that you get defeated by something or someone comes you're gonna feel horrible and the feeling is worse so yeah I don't know what why I started talking about that what did I that's freaking I literally escalated from my manager me and my manager playing magic into a serious talk but um serious guys don't say that you're the best or anything I said in a joke jokefully manner I don't mean it and I would never take it in a serious way I mean, I'm constantly calling everybody scrub lords, but I don't mean it. Um, I, and I'm pretty sure for those who seen, or for all of you new people that have been watching this video and you guys managed to happen to see the video, past videos, or seen, or it's gonna see a new video soon that involved me saying, like, in a context, there was a, a, um, a, there was there was me and a commenter just he the commenter just like you suck and I'm like whatever scrub lord I'm like I don't mean it out of spite it's just a sense to show that I'm strong and words can't bring me down so 
I mean, freaking, I had a, my, my friend, um, uh, protecting the innocent once more. Um, my friend, I'm gonna call her Mary Lou or whatever. No, not Mary Lou, I'm gonna call her, um, I'm gonna call her Girl Chan for the sakes of, um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I like girl chants. Girl in paradise. And that was the first thing that popped in my mind. Um, copyright a year after whatever. I don't know. But long story short. Uh, girl chant happened to... Um, she, she happened to... Um, tell her uh, diggish boyfriend. To... Or I'm pretty sure... I don't know if I mentioned her name last... In one of my previous videos. But, um, she it's the same girl I talked about before. Her boyfriend decided to make a fake account and decided to try to dislike almost every video that I have on YouTube for the sake of being an asshole and a dick. And I'm like, whatever, at least I could do better. I mean, I have the guts to do what I want to do. And people, see, here's the thing. Don't be scared of proving you're right or don't don't try to be someone you're not because like i said it brings a bad image to yourself and it brings a bad image to whoever you're going to interact with so in a sense um geez how long is it going on okay 10 to 12 minutes i don't want this to go over but um don't 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 hate on people don't take everything seriously because if you do Later in life, you're gonna have a bad time and you're gonna hurt yourself and everybody as well. So, uh, dig back and gee. I'm, I'm sorry, but I mean, c c clearly, we, you and I are not getting along. Um, I told you, I told, um, Girl Chan that I would respect you and when you called me. When you told me that, the, the, when I told her to, to tell you not to tell me that thing that you told me through text, or to told her through text, it made me very upset. And honestly, I was in, honestly, I actually, I don't mind just making a friend. So, if you're the guy that just never wants to be friends with anyone, good luck in life, because. Trust me, you're gonna need connections, and if you rely on connections from being, you rely on connections from people that are major dickweeds and other people as well. Freaking tough luck. Yeah, get ready for a, a hellish landscape because tr trust me, it, it's a uh, it's horrible and it's hard to avoid everything. But anyways, we're almost approaching towards the end of the video. And, um, ow, shut up. <laughs> but, um, ow, oh <laughs> gosh. But anyways, uh, I'm sorry guys if I took this in a serious talk or whatever. I just want to clear out to everyone to not take everything too serious. It's okay to have your opinion in life. But don't make you, don't make yourself sound like a dick at the same time because... You're, you're putting a bad image for yourself and that person may want to do something in revenge and spite. I'm not the type of guy that will do revenge, so you're all, all of you who are mean in life or have ever interacted and been very dicks to me. Um, you're lucky I'm not the guy, type of guy that just like freaking goes out and just tries to ruin your life because honestly, I'd rather just erase you from history and not ever think about you ever again and just move on with my own personal life because by doing that I'm gonna make my life even better but long story short looks like we won this match because I know he's not getting up and if he is oh well I'm gonna extend the video a little more cool so anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this serious talk hope you guys enjoyed this video and next time on Punch Out for the Nintendo Wii, we're gonna go ahead and go for the title fight against 
mystery man. I'm pretty sure you guys know who NES. But for those who don't, we'll see you in the next video. Stonk Flamenco. <laughs>